So for the next demonstration here, we want to showcase the built-in interoperability capabilities of a Zoom Room. In this case, we still have the Neat Bar Pro in here, and we have the Neat Pad Zoom Room controller. Now, that's the same device that we saw during the room scheduling display demonstration. So a very dynamic room controller here that can be used for dual purposes. Now, Zoom Rooms are not just designed to join Zoom meetings. We have built-in capabilities for a Zoom Room to even just make a SIP call or even H323. So very simple to leverage and join a variety of meeting services that have um, SIP dial-in capabilities in their meeting invitations. Now, if we have scheduled meetings, we have the ability from this Zoom Room system to have a one-touch join experience into uh, Google Meet and Microsoft Teams and WebEx and BlueJeans and other meeting services. So we make that very easy to have that single one-touch join. We took it a step further recently with the ability to place meeting icons for the, the various meeting platforms directly onto the home screen of the Zoom Room controller, right on this neat pad. And so customers have the flexibility to place uh, any combination of these particular meeting platforms on there to fit their needs. And so what's helpful there is as a user, I could walk into any Zoom room, and if I didn't schedule that in advance or I didn't forward that invitation over to the room, um, I can still quickly and easily get into the various meeting services. So as you can see here, we've got a, a button for Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, and WebEx. In all of these scenarios, we support a join by meeting ID capability. So I tap on the, the Google Meet icon, I punch in the meeting ID, and I'm in that. that. And same goes for Microsoft Teams and WebEx. So Zoom Rooms, we're always focused on supporting interoperability. We know in this modern day and age that companies have to connect to multiple meeting platforms internally in a lot of instances, and they certainly need to be prepared to join other meeting platforms externally. And so we build all that interoperability right into the Zoom Rooms, and it's available right out of the box with no additional licensing or interoperability services required.